Hello. Welcome. No sugar. Hi. <laughs> I don't know why I always start off my intros all awkward and weird. Maybe because I'm awesome or something. Gosh, it just hailed over here all crazy. Um, but anyways, uh, I wanted to release this dream slash vision that I had um, a while back. Uh, but I want to do it in video format. And this is what I've been doing for the most part is just sharing um, the things and insights that the Lord um, gives me and encouraging you along with it. And so for me... He speaks to me a lot through dreams, through visions. Um, I'm kind of a visionary, very creative. You can see like all the stuff in in the background. Like it's always just been my steez, you know. And so when he speaks to me in that too, I I understand the metaphors, I understand the symbolism for the most part. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get, um, and mostly when you're not getting it completely, he might keep things um, hidden. Um, so you can seek it out deeper to understand it or it's uh, for a certain time or season that he'll reveal more about it. There's so many different aspects of dreams and visions though. I could go all into it. But um, for this um, dream slash vision I had a um, dream of a butterfly on my forehead. It was just kind of stuck there. And it was almost like it was tattooed on my forehead. And um, pretty much right off the bat, like I know for instance that butterflies represent uh, transformation and metamorphosis. And being that it was on my forehead, it highlighted um, transformation of the mind. Because it's engraved right there on the mind. And so, or on the head, but... A lot of the strongholds in our mind, in a lot of ways, can stifle our faith and uh, the ability we see clearly. It can limit us in, uh, in the fullness and in, in growing to who we are made to be. Because um, he's already placed everything within you. So, um, so in many aspects, the point is, is that it's important for us to believe rightly and have a right mindset so the wrong perceptions are broken and full transformation can happen in the mind and uh, a lot of times we we do reference to it says the strongholds of the mind tear um that it's not against flesh and blood that you're uh, fighting against a lot of times you know the impeding thoughts the things that kind of torment our mind in a way it's strongholds of the mind which is um, a whole nother aspect of the supernatural realm. It's principalities and um, hindrances in the spiritual realm that can impede on the physical. And kind of what your mindset is, what's impeding on that, can distort your clear viewpoint of who you really are. Um, and it is by the transformative power of the Spirit, um, the Holy Spirit, that he clears off a lot of those scales and he, clean, he cleans the lenses of your perception, of your senses, of even past experiences and memories and heals, heals the heart so you can come into the fullness of right perception. Um, but yeah, different things happen through the metamorphosis. It's, it's not a completed work quickly. It's always a process and... Um, you know, and that's related to the butterfly. And, you know, the butterfly starts as larvae. And, um, you know, we, we come in a way that could be representative of coming alive in spirit to Christ. Um, when we're a newborn babe in Christ. And, and then uh, we start getting nourished. We start growing. Uh, feeding on the living word and building our relationship. And uh, that's when it turns to a caterpillar. And so as we feed and abide in the Lord's presence, we get nourished and built up. Um, we're hidden away in that secret place because, you, as you recall, if, um, it starts as a larvae uh, caterpillar, but then it hides away and it cocoons itself. And so in that process, that's kind of like the secret place. And, um, and if... 
Okay, a little choppy here. Sorry, my phone overheated, so it just kind of stopped. But anyway, so eventually you're going to get to this place of metamorphosis, and you're going to feel released to fly higher. Um, you're going to feel released to come out of the cocoon and fly higher. And that's kind of where you're growing in spirit. You're getting built up, you know, you start drinking milk, and then you get the meaty stuff. Um, and so it's kind of like flying higher into the realms of glory and right identity. And so, um, you know who you're becoming, you know who you already are established in, which is Christ Jesus. And so that's always who we're looking to. That's the example of the fullness of, of who we truly want to be transformed in. And so, um... So things are established and he knows the needs. He knows what we need to be built up to grow. And it's almost like that sweetness of the nectar, you know, that a butterfly nourishes on. And, um, you know, he gives us everything we feel we need to be equipped and to go out and to be fruitful and to, and to multiply. And um, just like the flowers, you know, we're going to go drink and lead others to those nourishing areas, um, give out the nourishment that we've been built up in, and uh, just a clear look at the beauty of how he explains that even in his cre creation. Um, it starts with healing, too, that can be um, done internally, you know, the traumas that tried to imprint on you or the brokenness that you've you've gone through, you know. Um, it brings it all to a fullness, you know, of who you are, but who you're becoming. And ultimately, it makes you stronger in a lot of ways, a lot of the things you go through. Um, but it's always a steady flow of progression of who you are in Him. It's a continuous work that um, outside of our ability and understanding, um, He does it outside of the realm of time supernaturally. And so... Um, just be thankful that old mindsets do die away and the transformative power of his glory um, is really what renews you day by day. And so um, just see yourself as a beautiful butterfly. You know, you're transforming, you're changing. Um, allow the process to happen as slow or as quickly as it happens. You know, desire it. Desire to go deeper, you know, as you seek his face. Um, it says, um, uh, I can't, I'm not good at quoting scripture. Uh, seek, knock, and you will find. As you continuously seek and continuously knock and continuously desire, you will find the hidden things, you know. He, he maps it out and he wants to show you everything that he's planned for your life. And it's only to make it better. It's only to, uh bring you into the fullness of who he is and so hopefully that encourages you and uh thank you for listening okay take care